A woman signing, a voice actor speaks. Hi, my name is Patty Liang. I'm a Chinese American. I'm near the Duwamish River, and it's a beautiful day. Patty walks with a friend down a paved pathway. Often, I like to go to different parks to make sure that they're accessible for my friends. For example, someone that uses a wheelchair, or someone that is deaf blind that needs a smooth path without bumps, wide enough for me and my friends to walk side by side at a distance. I think outdoors and parks should be for everyone. We asked three outdoor enthusiasts with disabilities to share a little bit about what access to the outdoors means to them. A white woman rides a quadricycle down a staircase, toggling the brakes at each step. Cecilia. My name is Cecilia. I am a quadriplegic and use a wheelchair. I love mountain biking. Cecilia transfers from her chair onto a hand cycle. In King County, I spend a lot of time at Doofy Hill, the mountain biking park. A friend helps Cecilia maneuver her leg into the hand cycle's footrest. The disability community, we do need help often to go outside. We do need trails widened, or we do need a path to Lake Washington to be accessible. Cecilia rides her three-wheeled hand cycle down a muddy and forested trail. But we also get to have control of our own lives and our own experiences, and we get to dictate what that help looks like. Photo of Cecilia and friends smiling from their hand cycles. Mountain biking was the first time I ever felt proud of my body. When I am struggling up a trail alongside an able-bodied person, we have this one experience of pushing our bodies in a very similar way. I don't think in that moment anybody's feeling sorry for me. I don't think anybody is seeing my body as weak. I think that However, an able-bodied person is experiencing the outdoors. It's equally as important that someone with a disability gets to, to build that relationship in, in a similar way. Cecilia in her rugged hand cycle zooming down a muddy forested path in the rain. Next, a skier in a bright red snowsuit careens down a ski slope at high speed. Jason, an Asian man, signs to camera. Hi, my name is Jason Chang. I'm from Seattle, but really I'm from Bellevue. Bellevue, I was born here in Bellevue, and I was born there. And I, I consider my identity, yeah. I consider myself a very active person, so I like to do a, a little bit of everything. I try to be new all the time. Photos of Jason smiling wide as he ice climbs, kneeboards on a lake, and leaps into the air against snow-covered peaks. And I always include my gear. Uh, my kid would be on their scooter, my wife would be on her bike. But it's kind of an odd uh, family. Do we go to the lake, go out, I'll be on their one wheel, like a skateboard. My kid would be on the scooter, and my wife would be on the bike. So it's kind of weird to see it all together going on. But it's fine. We try to go to different places to go around the King County, and we're always trying to find new punk to explore, because that's what we like to do, explore. Photo of Jason and his child in a backpack carrier. Next, Jason with his wife and two kids beside a lake and wearing bicycle helmets. And it's just want to expose them to something new in the world. Um, we have a lot of things to do in King County, so that's how you expose them to the possible around here. Sunlit photo of Jason's family. His smiling daughter runs underneath a blanket, held high between him and his wife. Next, an aged photo of a young girl smiling on a swing. Katie, a white woman, speaks to camera. Ever since I was a little kid, I loved the outdoors. I was always in the backyard playing. Photo of Katie perched on a treehouse with two family members. Looking back, all of the times that I've been really active in the outdoors, um, I've thrived a lot better. Photos of Katie beneath the waterfall and hiking beside a mountain lake. Having access to the outdoors is so important for me because I experience a lot of sensory overload in my everyday life because of autism. Katie hikes down a trail through the forest. Disability isn't synonymous with being incapable. Whether the disability be intellectual or physical, what have you, we're all still capable of doing the things that we love and being outdoors the way that we love to be. Katie beside the shore stereotypes and assumptions about our capabilities aren't helpful. There's lots of different ways that the outdoors can be enjoyed. Patty. What should people know about the disability community regarding nature? 
photos of Cecilia, Jason, and Katie enjoying the outdoors. Non-disabled and hearing people should not assume that we do not enjoy going out in nature. We do. We're just not always invited. Often, there's not the right type of access or knowledge about how we can participate. Non-disabled people should check in with us to see how we can be included, what can be done, and help provide access to the outdoors for everyone. This video was produced by Rooted in Rights and funded by the King County Department of Natural Resources and Parks Wastewater Treatment Division and the Coal Creek Sewer Upgrade Project. Learn about the King County Wastewater Treatment Division at kingcounty.gov forward slash WTD.